welcome to Reamp Roundup, a weekly summary of energy news from the Upper Midwest region. It's the week of January 12, 2009, and I'm Ethan Foley. The proposed coal-fired plant in Waterloo, Iowa has been scrapped. LS Power cited the poor economy as its reason. Its partner, Denergy, pulled out last week as well. Iowa now only has one new coal plant under consideration, an alliance proposal in Marshalltown. Carrie Lesseur is the president of Plains Justice. She said Alliance should take the Waterloo decision as a giant red flag that coal plants are financially risky, according to the Des Moines Register. Clean energy advocates have called upon Michigan Governor Jennifer Granholm to block the construction of any new coal plants. They urge her in to instead pursue clean energy to protect health, improve the environment, and grow jobs. Her spokesperson said she will not rule out the possibility of approving new plants, several of which are being proposed in Michigan, according to the Detroit Free Press. Three wind energy developers have pledged $10,000 toward South Dakota's Win for Schools program, according to the State Public Utilities Commission. The program installs small turbines in schools across the state. The contributors are Bamcock & Brown, Iberdrola Renewables, and FPL Energy. Engineers will inspect three Minnesota dikes in lieu of the Tennessee coal ash spill in December. The dams are 18 to 50 feet high and hold back ponds filled with power plant ash containing lead, mercury, and other metals, according to the Minneapolis Star Tribune. Wisconsin has approved a decoupling plan with the Public Service Corporation of Green Bay. This disconnects electricity sales from profits, often leading to more energy efficiency measures. The Citizens Utility Board encourages decoupling. Charlie Higley is the executive director. He says the Public Service Corporation's actions should serve as a model for others, according to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. The City of Fargo has compiled a list of projects in hopes of receiving funds from the federal stimulus package. Among the request is up to $70 million for the North Dakota Department of Transportation, according to the Fargo Forum. The city would like $9.5 million to go toward the transit system, replacing old buses with new hybrids. Illinois' lieutenant governor has recognized Resurrection Lutheran Church in Lakeview as an environmental hero. The church installed solar thermal panels on the chapel's roof to save 70% on its monthly water bill. It was the first church in Chicago to do so, according to the Chicago Journal. And that's it for this week. For more on these stories, go to reamp.org. From all of us at Reamp Roundup, thank you for being with us. Please join us next week.